Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having a little fun making a little money, we'd appreciate it if you give us the uh, give us the thumbs up. That's all we ask. We give everybody a chance to do it here right at the beginning. So hover over that thumb. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Smash that thumb. All right. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much for the likes. Thanks for the subscribes. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, you know, you should probably do that. And, of course, check out winnersandwiners.com for deep dive spin predictions into every single game, every single day. Winners and Winners, always there, always free. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing, man. we got some good cappers out there, and we'd love to hear from you. So put those plays in the comment section. We give you five units to play with. You can put them all on one. You can spread them out however you want. One unit uh, at least on every play. And, hey, when you're uh, when you're playing a parlay, quick heads up for you guys. And you're, it's anything but a standard parlay. If you've got a money line parlay working, tell me what it pays. Help me out. Help a brother out just a little bit there. All right? I'd appreciate it. Um, put them in the comment section. You know what happens when you get them right? You get a shout out. You get enough of them right, you could be one of the much coveted cappers of the day. So, with that being said, let's take a look. See how we ended up yesterday. We had a nice play on the Utah Jazz first half. A trend they had been playing very well in the first half. Kind of fading down the stretch. That's exactly what happened in this one. And I know I uh, I had some people ask me if I still like this with Donovan Mitchell tr being gone, being out. Truth is, I'd made this play earlier. So by the time we got that news, that was pretty much, uh, that was pretty much it for me. And uh, it didn't, I, I, let, I just let it hang. I didn't love it as much. The number came down a little, a little more. But, uh, and then they had the scare with the birds where they had the engine, the engine flame out. They thought they were goners. Thought they were going to have to land on the Hudson, which was going to be hard because they were like in, in Utah. So, um, <clears throat> no, actually, actually they were flying to Memphis. So, uh, but it makes it for a funnier story. But anywho. Uh, they had a, so they, it was, they were freaked out. The, and then there was some talk about that, about whether that would matter. It ended up, none of it mattered. It exactly the trend held exactly the way it did. Uh, they didn't beat them by as much in the first half as they had, but they beat them by eight. That was plenty. And then, of course, they end up not covering the number. Hello, Utah. So, uh, yeah, we take the win there. And on with today's action we go. Hey, guys, I don't know if you heard or not. It's uh, baseball season. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a baseball pick. We really are. You thought that was going to be a smart ass and go, we're going to do a uh, tennis pick. Nope. It is going to be a pick from the world of Major League Baseball, and it is going to be the New York Mets and the Washington Baseball Nationals going at it. Uh, two young fellows pitching, perhaps you've heard of them, Jacob deGrom and Maxwell Scherzer. I understand they're quite good. Uh, what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to play the first five under, and total in this game is seven. I'm hoping we get three and a half. I doubt we will. It's probably going to be three, and I'm okay with that. Obviously, much rather have the hook there at the three, but I'm still okay playing this even under three. You know what? These pitchers, uh, these guys are so good, it's hard to believe they're not in the Dodgers rotation. That's that's how good they are. Folks, thank you very much. Uh, proving once and all, proving once and for all that wins and losses mean nothing. Uh, DeGrom has been the best pitcher in the majors last three years. He's got back-to-back -back Cy Young's. And even in his off year last year, he had a, a horrible 2.38 ERA. Um, he has been an absolute stud in his first start of the season. In a, he's been he's made seven starts in April coming out. Uh, it may not be, never one of them was an opening day, but they were his first start. In those seven starts, hang on to your hats. He's given up five runs, 27 hits in 41 and two thirds innings. If you're doing the math at home, like I am. That is a 1.08 ERA. Well done, sir. Uh, Scherzer didn't have his usual dominant self. Fought some injuries there in 2020, but he did finish with a 5-4 and four record ERA of 3.64. That's only been the uh, the second time that it's been north of 3 since he was with the Detroit Tigers. So, uh, and he did well against the Mets. He pitched, he pitched well in three starts against the Mets, giving up just five runs. Hey, you need a final re reason to be convinced? How about this? Can I interest you in a 20-mile-an-hour wind blowing in from uh, left? Basically, it's uh, it's like corner-to-corner corner blowing it, blowing in from left field. 20-mile-an-hour uh, winds gust 40-plus. It's just waiting to disappoint Francisco Lindor and Pete Alonso and turn those drives into warning track fly balls. Sorry, boys. 
I just want to stay under the total of, let's hope for three and a half, but we're going to call it three for the first five. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, everybody, you guys know how I did. Let's see how uh, y'all did here today, shall we? Uh, Sean O'Reilly getting back on the right side. He goes... Uh, he, uh, he goes four and one. He had two, two late plays there. They both came in going four and four and one plus two ninety. Nice job, Sean. Um, Thomas Bow. Hey, Thomas put up his uh, final four plays already. Um, dude, if you have something, I have some kind of system where I'm like tracking ahead and writing. I'm not doing that. So when it comes time for the games when, when this Saturday, let me know your picks again. All right, man, because there's no way I'm remembering them. And yeah, I don't. I, this is pretty much a day-to-day -day operation around here. So, uh, T Train giving him a little retroactive cap for the day recognition. He was one and zero yesterday. So sorry about that, T. Nicely done. He'll be ready to fire at it today with baseball. C Dub, nice day. Three one and one plus two oh eight on the pitch. Uh, Greg Gillings, he tailed that first half play going one and zero plus five hundred. Uh, Brandon Zerface goes one and zero plus five hundred. That's they had the Suns in the first half. And uh, Clay Harchie goes one and one plus two ninety. Memon Funderburg goes two and two, and he got juiced. Great Scott Dak Brown goes four and zero plus four hundred, and I think he would have been right there had one of his games canceled, had that last game canceled. But your player, of the, your player, the, your capper of the day, it's going to be Eric Catherine playing a two team money line parlay, one in basketball with the Bucks and one in the, with the Sharks plus one and a half. And they are going to end up actually winning that game outright. So nice job, EC. That paid plus 104, and that pays plus 520. So by the measure of 20 bucks, Eric Catherine going 1-0 plus 520. You are the capper of the day. Congratulations. Congratulations to the rest of you. Let's go out there and have a little fun. Make a little money. Watch a little basketball. Watch a little baseball. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever you could turn a dollar on. We'll be out there fighting for you, all right? You guys have a great day. Good luck. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money. Back at the window, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.